a production came to me first to be a stand-in photo double. I even called Crispin. If you remember me, Crispin, please say a good word. I could use the work. And then they started sending me to prosthetic fittings. And so I imagined uh, they needed George in a couple places at the same time. I'm going to be a photo double, you know. And Zemeckis said, Dean, how's it look? And, and Dean saying, oh, I think we have Crispin without the trouble. Well, wait a minute, where's Crispin? Because they didn't really tell me Jack. In my mind, Crispin had another project. I, I couldn't fathom how they were going to do the film without him. And then my makeup guy, he said, you know, Crispin's out. You're going to be George. And I, I said, how can they do that? Because after part three came out, Crispin called me. What they did is unfair. They made you up to look like me and they cut it in uh, close-ups of me with your work. And I said, and they didn't pay you? They didn't have that licensing agreement? They, he said, no. He, of course, you know, sued everyone uh, and they settled, I think, before it went to court.